Attention! Curl tension! Curl retention! That's the one. What's good, everybody? It's your main girl, Mel, professional hairstylist and curl specialist. And today, we're gonna whip your curls into a straight. Not aggressively. That hurt me. Now, this training is gonna be for those who are beginning their curly hair journey or for those who are feeling a little bit lost in their curly hair journey. To put it simply, if you were to ask me what you can do to bring back your curls or what you can do to better style them for definition and long lasting moisture, then this is what I would tell you. Can I get an okay? Thank you very much. We are going to break this down into five easy steps. So without further ado, let's step into it. Shower is this way. Now for step one, we need to reset. Shampoo is the most important step. And that doesn't just go for a curly hair routine, but any healthy hair routine. Now, if your shampoo is drying, then you're probably not using the right shampoo. A good shampoo won't strip your hair or make it feel really dry, even if it's meant to clarify. This is going to be my fifth shampoo with this in a row. This is the new Olaplex 4C clarifying shampoo, and it is truly not drying on the hair. Do you need to use it every shampoo? No, I'm just being dramatic. I wanted to see if it would dry out my hair, and I'm also obsessed with it. <sighs> Guys, it's worth it. It's really good. Removes heavy metals, minerals, chlorine, pollutants, and product buildup. And it truly does not strip the hair. I, I, can't, I can't make this up. I will be sharing some of my top product recommendations throughout this video, as well as in the description box below. They will all be listed and linked there, so you can check it out if you feel so inclined and would like to learn more. We will be supplying you with several options. The right way to cleanse your hair is to shampoo your roots, focusing on your scalp, really getting in there, but then bringing the product down, all the way down there, down to your ends. That's right, just a little bit. If there's anything that curls hate, it's extra weight. We already have gravity working against us, so this is to remove excess buildup. Additionally, you can get a haircut, but we won't go that far right now. Let's move to the next step, step two. Step two is where we moisturize. Curly hair is commonly known to be dry, but conditioners are not all made the same. Conditioners are treatments to the hair and they can be very personal. You wanna pick one that's gonna treat your specific hair's needs. Here are some examples. If your hair is super dry and dull, using a conditioner that is very nourishing, very moisturizing, perhaps a deep conditioner, will help to deeply moisturize and add shine. If your hair is limp and damaged, use repairing conditioners with strengthening ingredients like proteins. These will help to fortify the hair. If your hair is breaking and extra fragile, then use bond building conditioners and treatments. These will help to increase the tensile strength of your hair making it less likely to break. And if your hair is super tangled, then using detangling conditioners will help you better manage your hairs. And last but certainly not least, if your hair is color treated and you're looking to maintain that, using a color mask as your conditioner slash treatment will keep your color rich. Look at that, yes, that looks like chocolate Nutella. By the way, this is a custom mix. It's, it's, I made, I just made a concoction. It's a lot of different things. The job of any good conditioner is to supplement the hair with the protective coating of shine, nourishment, softness, and smoothing. They should make your hair both look and feel good. And you can customize how your hair looks depending on which treatment you choose to use based on your hair's personal needs. So make sure you have a good conversation with your curls to figure out what you're looking for out of your routine. And as a bonus note, always follow the instructions, especially when trying a new product. All right, next, we're moving into styling. Step three is to prep. Prepping your hair for styling really does start at step one. Steps one through three really all fall under the prep category. But the third step would be applying a leave-in conditioner on your hair out of the shower. Now a great leave-in conditioner that is worth the money will give you detangling and add heat protection and UV protection. This is a trifecta I really look for. Now you wanna gently comb this through your hair to make sure that every strand is coated and in the long run, this is gonna give you better hair. Prepping your hair like this will make sure that your hair is smooth and tangle free so that you can properly apply your stylers on top without overusing and over applying your stylers, which is step four, four, four. We are ready to style now that you are set up for success with your prep. Styling includes shaping or manipulating the curls into their spiral shape by using your fingers, 
brushes, combs, and dryers. Styling aids, aka styling products, are always recommended to give you control, hold, enhancement, and longevity out of your curly hair style. Examples will include foams, enhancing lotions, curl creams, gel, and or mousse. If applying all of the above, you would apply in that order. But you can just choose one based on your hair's texture. Especially since after prepping our hair in step three, we've already applied a product that is moisturizing. Hair that may not be very dry or doesn't need a lot of moisture because it may be easily weighed down can skip right into a gel or a mousse or a foam to shape up their hair. Those would all be lighter options if you have finer hair, but if your hair is more dry, using a cream or lotion will give you more moisturized hair. You want to apply all of these products on wet slash damp hair and then don't touch it. Once your products are in and the curls are shaped up, you do not want to disturb the curl pattern until the hair is completely dry. That means minimal touching with your dirty little fingers. Did anyone watch Cadet Kelly? A turn, hut. Let's do it. That's, that's the inspo here. That's, that was my childhood. Hillary, we love you. Instead of your fingers, you can use the bold diffuser attachment on your hair dryer to speed up the drying process. I have a whole other tutorial video that you can watch for that next. It'll be linked above and in the description box for you to view. But let's review. We one, reset. Two, treated. Three, prepped. Why am I so intense? I felt like, Veins popping out of my skull and shit. Step four, set. And step number five is to finish it. We need to finish it in order to keep your style looking amazing. If while watching this, you're stressed about your hair looking wet from, you know, gels and stuff like that, well, it's because you shouldn't skip this last step. You can apply a frizz taming serum that will add softness, shine, and help block out humidity. Furthermore, overnight, you can continue your success by sleeping on a satin pillowcase. Additionally, you may tuck your hair into a bonnet, wrap it in a scarf, slip on a buff, or even just tie it in a loose ponytail on the top of your head. These will all make your mornings much easier. And well, that's five. Five, oh my, steps that you can do. Now for next steps, you can check out my refresh playlist. I have several videos there on how you can revamp your hair in the morning on day two, day three, restyling ideas and lots of different tutorials. And if this has been your first video with me, then I hope that you are subscribing. Every single week we share more and more Texture Tuesday tips, tutorials, tricks, reviews, and expert science-based hair care advice from a professional. Please be aware of fear mongering in the curly hair community, especially as you continue to do your research. I've got to say it, the curly girl method is not all that. You will not see me talking about it or promoting the methods on this channel. In fact, most of the time we are absolutely contradicting them, them as in the very strict and just unnecessary rules of the curly girl method. The methods you have learned here today are tried and true by me and nearly 650,000 other curly hair beings that are following me. And it's worked so far, so you know, I thank you. Thank you for joining me, for being such a great sport. You are doing great, sweetie. I am your main girl, Mel, and I am out. Peace. Ready and let's begin. Yeah, I don't want to break this. My little, my fabulous little travel tripod. This thing goes so small. I take it with me when I'm traveling. It's like six feet. It's it's amazing. That's creepy. I don't want to do too much. You know, I just want, I just, it's just for fun. Now styling aids, AKA styling products are always going to be recommended to give you long lasting longevity. That's redundant. A 10, huh? A 10, curl tension, curl retention. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And today, 
And we're gonna whip your curls back into shape. Hey, bada bada hey, bada bada